Hi there, Joel from Jonesy's, and uh, today we're going to give you guys the final uh, video walk around tour of the 1997 Cummins Diesel Suburban. Come take a look at uh, the engine. It started out as a 1995 Cummins 12-valve. We uh, retrofitted it into the Suburban chassis, hooked everything up, added a bunch of relays for the light bars and the fuel stop solenoid, dissected the complete uh, fuel injection harness, and hooked everything up so that it all works just fine. So There's a quick overview of what the engine looks like. We'll shut the hood and we'll give you a tour of the outside. So we went with Move for the bumpers. They're a uh, fabricate yourself, kind of weld together kit that worked out really, really well. Um, because on this uh, vehicle, we decided to go with the um, work truck style grill so that it would uh, clear all the intercooler piping and I wouldn't have to modify the uh, marker lights on the other style grill. Also decked it out with a whole bunch of LED light bars and then we coated it ourselves with a uh, spray-on bed liner and then a factory low gloss satin clear. The paint itself is a uh, custom gunmetal gray. It's got a little bit of a bluing tint to it and then we two-toned it with some more of some uh, rocker texture. Ran the rocker texture around all the factory flares and then down along the bottom half of the rocker panels. Added in some uh, aftermarket towing mirrors that kind of accentuate the size of the vehicle. Topped it off with a uh, Smitty Belt roof rack and a couple of really big curved LED light bars on top. Added some uh, custom badging, some blacked out Cummins Turbo Diesel logos where the normal SLE or trim package tags would go for the Suburban. Used a four inch exhaust, just uh, cut the tip off at a uh, angle to kind of match the body. Three inch uh, off the turbo and then into four inch with a muffler. Wheels are an XD series wheel, 20 inch, 371250 Cooper Discover STT Pros. Again, the rear bumper, we started out with a move weld together and then added the custom swing out ourselves with the ladder that gives access to the uh, upper roof rack. Added in some uh, LED backup lights as well as flush mounted the trailer connector and uh, welded on some uh, recovery points. So coming around show you guys what we did on the interior. Wanted to make this as nice and as a factory and install as we could so we'll start with the pillar gauges. So went to Autometer for the uh, gauges and it just so happens that they were able to match the font and the style as our factory instrument cluster. So a little nice detail there. Reupholstered all the seats with premium leather and then added in a two-tone insert that's perforated to give it kind of another more of a little custom two-tone look. For controls for the light bars, decided to go with some push buttons. Application is actually for a Toyota, but they are labeled correctly for LED light bar and for fog lights. We hooked up all of the gauges so all the gauges work with the tack and everything else. The center light bar up in the uh, bumper right up here is actually wired in and tied in with the center con or the the center light bar right there is actually tied in with the high beams. So enough of the exterior uh, walk around. Let's uh, hop inside and we'll go for a test drive. So in typical Northwest fashion, we head out on a test drive, and guess what? It starts to sprinkle. So the uh, Sabruno has uh, 
now been christened with the uh, Northwest rain. So we'll uh, try to make this short and sweet because I don't want to. I don't want to get it too uh, too nasty. But anyway, here you can see all the gauges are working just fine. Pod gauges um, are easily visible, and everything uh, is looking great on that front. So, those actually turned out to be a really, really nice install. Uh, hopefully, you guys will be able to hear and enjoy the turbo spool up and the, uh, all the shifting of the transmission. Uh, we, went, uh, we went with US shift for the transmission controller. And then we were able to tune it um, as per my liking um, with their uh, programmable laptop uh, interface, which actually uh, turned out to be really um, easy to use and very, uh, very user friendly. So they have some uh, predetermined uh, programs that uh, gave us a starting point, and then we were able to, to tune it the way we wanted. So you can hopefully see. Some of the shifting that's going on here and the speeds that we're uh, we're traveling. Um, currently, right now, in terms of power adders for the actual diesel itself, um, the only thing that we have uh, is the uh, Colt Cam Stage Four. Um, until the vehicle had some miles on it and I knew that everything was broken in, I did really want to uh, uncork the Cummins so it uh, it is it still has the stock governor kit in it um, stock injectors um, as well as the stock uh, fuel plate so it's relatively untouched in terms of a 12 valve out of a 95 Dodge truck um, of course after we uh, get past 200 and something miles or whatever we're at right now um, we will definitely be souping this up. Uh, transmission temperature and everything seems to be really good, stable, below 200 on everything. Um, boost is, is fun to watch. Um, and as well as the EGTs, barely get over 500. So again, uh, this is a stock Cummins diesel. 97 GMC Suburban with 37 inch tires, 373 gears, and 4 inch exhaust. So, a test drive final video would not be complete without at least uh, showing you guys the uh, how well the LED lights work. Maybe this won't show up very well in the uh, video but uh, this is the stock low beams uh, with the work truck style grill so just a regular halogen headlight uh, there you can see our pod gauges on that side um, illuminating pretty well as well as the uh, stock instrument cluster but uh, we'll let this this car go by uh, we'll hit the high beams the uh, high beams um, are wired to the center LED light bar. So there are the high beams, which, as you can see, makes a pretty massive difference in how much you can, how much you can see. So we'll take a right here, kill the high beams, and then we'll try the curved LED light bars on the top.
pretty uh, pretty awesome uh, night driving with those big LED uh, light bars on top. See the difference. This concludes the uh, test drive and the final uh, product video for the 97 Cummins Diesel Suburban, aka Subruno. If you like uh, what we do, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And if you're interested in uh, purchasing any one of these vehicles or building one yourself, uh, contact us. Send us an email at infojoneseys.com. Thanks for watching.